Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you stopped by. So today is my second video of Air Fryer February. It's a collaboration started by Mary Ellen over at Prepper Potpourri and she asked me to be part of it. And there are 14 other channels, I believe, also participating. And in the description, I will have the playlist and all of their channels that you can go to to check out their amazing recipes. I can't believe it's already the last week of February and there have been some amazing recipes. So you have to go check those out. And today for you guys, I thought I would make one of our favorite little snacks. Of course, you could also make it a meal is Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. They're so good and they're super easy too. So I, everyone, everyone I've ever made them for loves them. They're quick, they're not hard at all, and I'll show you exactly step-by-step step how to make them. So let's get cooking. So you're gonna need a package of sliced provolone cheese, a bell pepper, I'm using green, a small onion, an egg, one to two cloves of garlic. I like this kind in the tube because I don't have to chop it. <laughs> Some steak seasoning. I like this Montreal Grill Mates, but you could use any kind that you like. And of course the steak. I am using one pound of New York steak, but you could use ribeye, sirloin. You could even use chicken. And of course egg roll wrappers. So I have my onion, finely diced as well as my pepper and both of them equal about one cup and what I did with my steak is I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes and that way it's much easier to slice really thinly otherwise it it can be hard to slice and then what we're going to do is we're going to heat up a large skillet and in that, I put about one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil, or you could also use olive oil. And then I took the steak and I chopped it up into even smaller pieces because I wanted, I wanted to cook really quickly. And I'm just laying that in the pan in a single layer and I'm gonna leave it alone for like two minutes. And that way it's gonna have a chance to brown a bit on the bottom. And I'm sprinkling my Montreal steak seasoning. And now don't go too heavy on that if you're planning on dipping your egg rolls into Cheese Whiz, because Cheese Whiz is kind of salty. So um, I just used a light sprinkle. And then I'm, and see how it's starting to get brown? And now I'm just flipping over the steak. It literally takes like another minute because it's also gonna keep cooking once we fry the egg rolls. And now I'm putting in my onion and my diced bell pepper into the pan, and I did not add any more oil. And we're gonna saute that on medium for, for about three minutes until the onions become translucent and the peppers begin to soften. And I just tasted one of the peppers to see, to make sure it had a little crunch, and, um, but it was mostly soft. And then I just squeezed in about a teaspoon of garlic. You can add as much as you like. And then I add it in, back in the steak pieces. And I just cook that for like another minute and I um, set that aside to cool for about 15 minutes. Because we don't want to put the really boiling hot filling into our egg roll. Now here are my egg rolls. And I took the egg and I put about a tablespoon of water and mixed it together. And now all I'm doing is just using my finger, or you could use a little pastry brush, and just um, moistening the sides there, and that's gonna help um, our egg roll wrapper stick. And now I'm placing a half a slice of provolone cheese. Now feel free to add another slice on top of the meat, especially if you're not gonna use the cheese whiz, because it'll make it even more cheesy. I kind of wish I would have done that. <laughs> Now you're just gonna roll this up like a burrito. You're just gonna fold over the sides, kind of like an envelope. And then you're just gonna moisten the top a little bit there and just roll it up. Now the first one you make, it might rip, it might not be perfect, 
but that is completely normal. And trust me, they're all not gonna come out looking the same. One, they're, one's gonna be a little fatter, one's gonna be a little skinnier, and that is totally fine. Now I'll show you one more time, and you'll see when I wrap this one up, um, it's, it's kind of a different shape than the first one. It all depends how much filling you put in there. Um, I like, you know, a medium amount of filling. I don't want to overstuff it because if you do, the egg roll wrapper will rip. And that's what happened to me on my very first one that I didn't show you guys. <laughs> I put a, too much in there and like it ripped in half. So see, I'm just folding it over. Super easy. Folding the sides. And then I'm just kind of gathering the sides like that and you just roll it right up. And once you get the hang of it, you'll roll all eight to 10 of them really quickly. And this will make eight to 10, depending how big your egg roll is. And now what I did is I just put four on a tray and I did a little experiment. I sprayed two of them with nonstick cooking spray. And then the other two I um, lightly brushed with some um, vegetable oil. And I wanted to see if it would make a difference if I used the oil versus the, the spray. And you'll see how that turned out at the end. Okay, so I had my oven preheated for three minutes at 400 degrees, and I cooked it for five minutes. And this is how they look. And they're starting to get a nice golden brown, and we're gonna flip them over and then just do the same thing on the other side. The two of them I sprayed with the spray and then the other two I brushed with the oil. Super easy. Now, of course, you can put more on the tray. I just decided to only do four to show you guys. And now back in the 400 degree oven and these actually I cooked this um, second half for six minutes and all air fryers are different so it could be anywhere from five to seven minutes and there they are don't they look amazing they're so good you guys you have to try them <laughs> thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode bye everybody